Of all the ways Don Machi Season 4 might have ended, this wasn't the way I was expecting, but that's what makes it feel so rewarding. After everything that Bell, Ryu, the party in general has been through, to come into this episode and not only have Ryu finally get over her trauma, move past it, and finally feel like she can start living again. To have the final moments of this season be Belle and Ryu going on a cute little date and just having a peaceful, wholesome, if not flirtatious time, there's no better way after the amount of death flags, carnage that has been swarming these characters for nearly the entirety of this 22 episode season. To have them come out of this and really feel like they earned this, as I've said time and time again, even if every character comes out of this alive, that doesn't change the fact that while watching, it felt hopeless, helpless, and death was the only outcome possible. So to have them come out of this, it makes it feel like it's their biggest victory yet, and for a character like Ryu, who, honestly, the viewers at at least one point probably gave up with her, pretty much this entire season she was ready to go, the fact that she was the one to put the Juggernaut out of its misery, Honestly, it just felt well earned. This was an incredible episode to end my personal favorite Don Machi season on, and I can't wait for season 5 and to see the new adventures that will await these characters. Now, I do have a full live reaction available on my Patreon, so if you want to see my full uncut thoughts to this or any of the previous episodes of this season of Don Machi, head on over there and consider supporting. This was a fantastic season, and honestly, I kept seeing more and more people say that this was their personal favorite Don Machi season, so I imagine it's just going to carry on. And honestly, while I don't expect season 5 to top what we just saw by any means i also expect that with the new potential how much maybe ryu might go adventuring potentially i don't know but nonetheless even if she never steps foot into a dungeon again the fact that she did come out of this the fact that bell looks at it as if ryu wasn't there he would have died and ryu looks at it as if bell wasn't there she would have died without both of them together this just wouldn't have happened there's moments in this episode that had ryu not deflected a shot Bell would have been skewered and there would have been no bringing him back. I mean, it just felt like this was rewarding. That's the easiest way to put this. I think the way they dealt with the Juggernaut was so cool because basically starting this final round, half of its body was basically meaty flesh. So I mentioned it in my previous video that it looked like, based on how the design was being presented, that there's sections of its body that you could probably stab and wound. And exactly that happened. Personally, to me, the Juggernaut kind of looked like a zombified animal. If you've seen any zombie show, especially live action, the way they generally detail animals that either go zombified or at the very least have been starved and hunted by zombies, it just feels like they're kind of like you see their bones, you see a lot more of their flesh. That's kind of what the Juggernaut looked like, and that's what made it so frightening, because this thing's been around since the beginning of the season, more or less, and it just survives everything. So the fact that half of its shell is gone, and it's still causing such a ruckus, I mean, it's pretty intimidating, all things considered. So the fact that you have Bell going through thick and thin, he's refusing to give up, firebolts galore, he's erupting the ground, he's still getting skewered. I mean, I believed that the intelligent monsters would be the reinforcements. They would get there. That would help turn the ties, maybe we lose one of the monsters, and that's how they would ultimately do it. But the way they went about this is so much better, and more rewarding. So, there's no power of friendship here. They used the spirits, seemingly, like they're not actually there. It's more of a visual representation of her fallen comrades being with her. The fact that this was all Ryu's doing, the fact that she believes so much that it's not worth giving up, the fact that in her own head, while passed out, she finally came to accept the fact that it's a bit of guilt. Had I done something back then, they might still have been alive. So this time, I'm not going to sit back and watch Belle die the exact same way that they did before. To basically use like this kind of like talking to your long lost friends, not that they were actually there, it's more of a spiritual kind of like, it's more of a figurative thing, right? The fact that she came in and she had like 10 of these orbs left, and the fact that the anime directed it like each one of her fallen comrades was one of those orbs, and she used each one of those in a very specific way to get to that final blow in order to deal the final shot to the Juggernaut, which at that point was a head and a meaty blob of flesh, and the fact that it just erupts into this beautiful fashion to turn such carnage, to turn such of a nightmare into something beautiful in those final moments as they just finally get to rest and pass out, it was completely rewarding. I don't think anyone should have a problem with how this fight and this escalation of Juggernaut went, because not only did both Bell and Ryu get a moment throughout this season, multiple points that is, to really feel important, there was nothing about it that feels like things came from thin air. 
The fact that they continued to give it their all up to their final breath while they could finally pass out. They got a potion. They got to be rescued. I mean, on one hand, you have to wonder, man, if those intelligent monsters just got there a couple minutes sooner, they probably would have had to get stabbed a couple extra times. Then again, had they got there a couple minutes sooner, it's entirely possible one of them might have ended up dead. But I love the fact that it just felt like it was well-earned, it was payoff. Bell didn't get a random power-up, Ryu didn't get a random power-up. It was all tactical based on what they currently had, and by her finally accepting her trauma and moving past it rather than almost running away and burying it, she was able to stand up for something because when you look at it, right, Bell is very similar to her familia's leader. Like, the ideals, the behavior... So the fact that, for once, she said, like, no more running away, no more just putting my faith in someone else's hands. I did that once, and everyone ended up dead besides me, and it put me on a very toxic path of revenge. Now she stands up for Belle, and the fact that Belle could sit there and be like, whew, I'm just gonna catch my breath for a minute. Oh, you got this? Whew. Okay, that's perfect. It just felt rewarding. It was beautifully produced, it was well animated, the voice work was incredible, and the fact that you can end on a date, it doesn't feel silly, it doesn't feel simple, right? Did we want to see four days traveling back up? No, we wanted to see them just immediately back in the hospital bed. Feel like everyone, the fact that they made it, it just feel well earned. The fact that Welf crafted this amazing sword in the dungeon, the fact that Bell, how many times did he die slash nearly die, and the fact that he pulled through, right? The fact of the matter is, they earned that, and the fact that we can end a season full of so much dread and despair with them coming out of it with a cute little date, some romantic undertones, the harem punching Bell because he caught a glimpse of something something, I mean, the fact remains, this was exhilarating, and we didn't need to see someone die. The fact that the flags were there, so if it happened, we wouldn't be shocked. But the fact that they came out of this just means that this is their biggest victory yet, and that's what makes this season and this fight the most memorable of any of that Don Machi has shown us so far. In such a short few months, Bell has been through more than most adventurers would ever go through in a lifetime. The fact that this is still so early into his life and we haven't even seemingly reached the halfway point of what he's going through, there is so much uncertainty about where Bell's life will go, his familia's life will go, and most importantly, the intelligent monsters and the future of them and the dungeon in particular, but... I leave with a grin on my face. I think this is one of the best episodes. I think it was the best season. It was just really, this is what turns a show into something that you're craving the next four seasons rather than just craving the next season. And I'm very, very excited to see where this anime is going to go in the future. But those are just my feelings. Drop your own down below in those comment sections. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Also, be sure to ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload on the channel. And of course, as I mentioned, we do have that full live reaction available on my Patreon. And while you're there, you can also get a video shadow. So today, we have a Darthwin Wright, Harry Truscott, Zia, and username MK. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.